Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. So in this video, I will show you guys how you can root your device if you're using a Moto G4 Plus and it's on the official Nougat. This will also work for soak test or other variants of Nougat, but this is essentially for the official one. The previous root methods that worked for Marshmallow or uh, the soak test variants will not work for the official one and you might have tried and know that already. So click the like button below and let's get started with the procedure. So you will need these four files. You will need the TWRP IMG file, the super user file, mfast boot and the kernel, the elemental x kernel. First of all, I will rename this file to twrp.img and I will extract the mfast boot file and rename this folder to mfast. I am renaming these files just for the sake of convenience and there is no other reason. So you will have to copy the twrpmg file inside the mfastboot folder and then copy this folder onto your C directory. So I have connected my mobile to my computer using a USB cable and I will copy these two files. The elemental x kernel file and the super user zip file. You'll have to copy it to your internal SD card. So after you have done this, you'll have to open your phone in bootloader mode. I will show you how you can do that and then you have to connect it via USB cable. So now you have copied the files on your phone and you have powered off your phone. You'll have to open it in the bootloader mode. So you can do that by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power button at the same time for around two seconds. Now you'll have to connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. So after you have opened your phone in bootloader mode and connected to your computer, you'll have to open the mfast folder and here you'll have to open a command window by pressing shift and then right clicking and there will be an option called open command window here. Now type here mfast boot flash recovery twrp.img so i type twrp.img because i renamed the file to twrp.img when you press enter you will flash the twrp recovery on your mobile now that's it on the computer we'll switch to mobile and flash the kernel then flash the super user zip file after flashing the recovery file you would still be in the bootloader screen and you can browse all the options using the volume buttons and you'll have to select recovery mode and then you can select it by pressing the power button. You just have to press it once and it will open in recovery mode. It will ask you if you want your system to be read only. So just swipe right. Now click on install and select the elemental X kernel. When you swipe, you will get an interface to install the kernel. You can choose all the options yourself, agree with the services. I will advise you to keep the stock frequency. I don't like sweep to sleep so I will set it to disable and I will untick all the options here. You can tick the fingerprint as home button if you want. And that's it you need to install the elemental x kernel by selecting this. So now you have installed the kernel. You'll have to press the back button to go back to the install screen. From here you will have to install the super user file. You'll just have to swipe to confirm and then it will flash the super user file and patch your boot IMG. It will take like 30 seconds or so and then you just have to reboot your system. After rebooting your system, you still have to install the PHH super user from the Play Store. I will leave a link in the description, but I will also show you how you can find it. So I'll skip to when my mobile boots up. So after you reboot your phone, you will not have the super user app. You'll have to install it using your Play Store. So search for an app called PHH super user. Here is the app. You will have to install it. I've already installed it. And I've also installed a root checker app. So 
when you click on verify root you can see that my device has root access and i will also show you my version number just to make sure so you can see i'm on the first november security patch and this is the official one and so this is no temporary root this is permanent root and even when you reboot your device your root will not be lost so that's it for the video guys let me know in the comment section if you have any problems and make sure to click the like button if this video helped you